So I have a confession, y'all. I have a headphones addiction. And in this video, I want to tell you about it, all about it. <laughs> but for real though, these are my favorite pairs of headphones that I use for multiple purposes, including content creation, video production, music production, and just like listening to lossless audio in Apple Music. So in this video, I'm gonna go over my top five pairs of headphones in 2022. So be sure to like the video and subscribe down below and let's get into it. How's it going y'all? It is Ben Aqua, like the color. And I'm really curious to hear what are your favorite pair of headphones. So sound off in the comments. Let me know which pair of headphones you tend to reach for the most. And by the way, I will link to everything that I'm talking about in the description below. So be sure to check those links out. So first of all, I'm gonna talk about the AirPods Max because these are probably the headphones that I use the most. But yeah, I think these are beautiful headphones. I've had these for over a year. They look almost brand new and they sound absolutely amazing. I think the design of these is also really unique. If you look around me, I have a lot of color around me. I love color and these fit in really well. They're super comfortable and I love the transparency mode in these and also the noise canceling is insane. So these are the headphones that I use the most because I'll be watching videos on my laptop or on my phone or Apple TV or something. And I love that I can switch from device to device in the Apple ecosystem super easily with these. But these are mostly used in a Bluetooth kind of setting because these are primarily a wireless headphone, at least the way I use them. And I actually ended up getting this $35 cable that I will sometimes use with the AirPods Max, but they're such a beautiful object just kind of on their own in my opinion. And they sound absolutely phenomenal. And these have the best noise canceling. So when I really want to get into the zone of working on like a video edit, or I just want to get rid of all the noise in my environment, well, most of the noise. These do a really good job. Like the noise cancellation is insane. I also love that this button on here will easily switch from noise canceling to that transparency mode, which is totally insane. You can easily do volume controls over here. Yeah, these things are just a phenomenal pair of headphones. They are a little expensive at $550, but if you look around, like I got these used for like $410 or something. So you can find deals on these. You can even get these under 400, which I think are an amazing value. But at 550, I think they're a little bit over priced in my opinion. And the number two pair of headphones that I use are these, the Audio-Technica ATH M50X BT. So these are my second favorite pair of headphones that I use more in a kind of music production and wired lossless audio type of listening types of situations. They have really crisp highs and nice deep lows and stuff like that. And then the sound stage has a very nice separation, lots of details in the left and right kind of stereo field. But yeah, I think these sound really awesome. And I would say these actually sound more kind of neutral than something like the AirPods Max, which have a more kind of pronounced sound in the bass and in the trebles. And this has kind of a clean sound, but it definitely feels like there are some digital signal processing. I mean, there are DSPs going on in the AirPods Max, but you don't really get that as much in the Audio-Technica M50X BTs. And the BT does stand for Bluetooth. So these do have Bluetooth and these are kind of old. I think these are like maybe four or five-ish years old. They don't have the latest version of Bluetooth or noise canceling or any of that kind of stuff. But these are kind of the headphones that I trust when I'm making music or I'm making videos or something and I want a very accurate representation or a pretty accurate kind of clean and neutral-ish representation of what I am producing. And I will use these wired into my MacBook Pro. But I will switch these into Bluetooth mode once in a while if I just want to step away from the computer and still check out a mix in Ableton Live or something. And the Bluetooth range in these is really good. It has really good battery life, but yeah, these are more a wired pair of headphones. And I think these sound phenomenal and they're a lot cheaper than the AirPods Max and a lot of other more higher end headphones. They are a closed back design also. So they'll keep all of, you know, the sound, you know, inside of your ears. There's also a BT2, a second generation of these. I tried those out. I honestly didn't like the second generation as much as these first generation Bluetooth version. I thought the sound on the second version was a little unnatural. I don't know, like a little bit tinny and just artificial, where these sound very natural, very smooth, and they do have plenty of bass, plenty of treble, and you can get these for like $120 used like new. These things are a phenomenal value, one of the best pairs of headphones I still own and still use almost on a daily basis. So now let's talk about something more on the audiophile 
kind of grade. And these are my favorite, very tangled at the moment, but these are my favorite pair of in-ear monitors, the Fio FH3. And I've talked about these a lot on the channel, especially when I'm talking about Apple Music and lossless audio, the kind of high fidelity type of listening experience. This is of course a wired pair of headphones. You know, they don't have Bluetooth or anything. These things, the Fio FH3s sound absolutely phenomenal. Actually out of all of the headphones that I own, I would say these sound kind of the most accurate. It's maybe a toss up between the ATH M50X BTs and then Fio FH3s. But what I think these are really good for is a really beautiful vocal and mid range. I was listening to a Hope Tala song and seriously, these things sound so freaking good. I actually started tearing up because of the vocal clarity, like the mid range is insane in these. And there's also a really good amount of bass in these. There's a pretty good amount of kind of sparkly trebles as well. And these are just all around really good headphones, especially when these headphones are paired with this Fio BTR5, which is a Bluetooth slash also wired USB-C DAC amp combination. This thing sounds really phenomenal. And I will use this in conjunction a lot with the Fio FH3s. It's just a really beautiful, warm, spacious sound. These also have the most expansive frequency range out of all the headphones I'm talking about today. So these are my go-to lossless audio slash want to get immersed in the sound type of headphones. And most of the time I will actually listen to these on my iPhone 13 Pro. So when I'm listening to lossless audio on my phone, this is the dongle that I will use to connect the FH3s. So you can see there's lightning on one side and then there's a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the other. So I'll basically just plug this into my phone and then I will plug the Fio FH3s into there. This is an amazing and pretty inexpensive way to get beautiful, beautiful lossless audio. The FH3s come in at about $129, but seriously, the audio quality that comes out of these is phenomenal. And another kind of surprising pair of headphones comes actually from Knoopsy. Shout out to Isaac. But yeah, Knoopsy sent me these really awesome Koss headphones. And these are the Koss KPH 30i. They're a pair of over the ear headphones that are super lightweight. And these I think retail for like $30 or maybe even less. I was actually kind of surprised by these because I thought they would sound just kind of like crappy headphones you'd get at Walgreens or whatever for $10. But these sound really good. And they are a wired pair of headphones only. They do have a 3.5 millimeter jack. The cable also has a multi-purpose button on one side and then a mic on the other. And the sound quality on these is surprisingly really good. There's a lot of bass and there's a lot of kind of warmth in these headphones. These are headphones that I could listen to music for a long time without feeling that fatigue of like overemphasized bass or trebles. Everything seems actually really well balanced on these and it's a very pleasing sound that almost feels like when you put them on, you know, like you're not really wearing headphones. Like they actually just feel like they're just two foam things on your ears. They're, I don't know, they're just really, really nice and surprisingly good. So shout out to Knoopsy for sending me these. I wouldn't say these are like, you know, studio grade slash audio file types of headphones. Not really something that I would use to accurately, you know, monitor my videos and my music productions and stuff. But when I'm just in a pinch and I just want to wear something lightweight that is over the ear, not so much the in-ear type of thing. These costs are really good and I actually really like the way they look as well. I think they have kind of an 80s kind of early 90s kind of vibe so they're a little bit of a throwback they're definitely a vibe as y'all kids are saying last but not least is the liberty 3 pro from soundcore which are a Bluetooth pair of earbuds. And these are ones that I typically use when I'm at the gym or when I want something with a very low profile because of course they are just wireless Bluetooth earbuds. These things come in at I think about 150 to 170. And because these have that ear hook right here, they'll stay in the ear really, really well. They pair super quickly. They also have noise cancellation, not as good as the AirPods Max or even the AirPods Pro, but they do have noise cancellation and it will get rid of a lot of the background music at the gym that I go to. And yeah, the sound quality is actually really good, especially for Bluetooth wireless earbuds. These have phenomenal bass. Out of all the headphones I'm talking about today, these are the bass monsters. There's also an app that you can download to your phone, the Soundcore app where you can tweak the EQs, you can change different settings. These have a 
very harsh treble though, so I would definitely EQ the trebles down, especially the high trebles, the sibilants, the S's from the default EQ setting. But once you EQ these out, the bass is ridiculous on these. It actually made me laugh several times because it was so loud and boomy, which also pumps me up at the gym and stuff, which is why these are my favorite gym headphones. But what's really amazing about these earbuds is they support high resolution Bluetooth audio codecs such as LDAC. You do need an Android device in order to enable that LDAC codec to get the high res wireless audio, such as this, the G8X from LG. Got this thing for $100 on eBay. But when I'm listening to lossless audio on an Android device and I have the Liberty 3 Pros connected to this, I can set this to transmit LDAC. And then there is so much clarity and there's so much detail that it really sounds like I'm listening to a wired pair of headphones. So anyway, let me know what your favorite pairs of headphones are down below if you have used any of these headphones or if there are other ones that you would recommend. I love to see y'all down in the comments. Smash the like button and subscribe down below if you're not already. And also add me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, at B3NAQUA. And since you made it to the end of the video, I will humbly invite you to join the House of Aqua Discord channel. That's my own personal Discord channel where we're all talking about tech, Apple products, all kinds of fun stuff. The link to that will be in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful, maybe a little bit entertaining. Enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you in the next one.